My biggest strength in the kitchen would be time management and mise en place. Uh, mise en place is everything in its place. That's what mise en place means. I did not know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I toured the Art Institute, I felt at home right when I toured the place. I felt comfortable. I felt like I was going to be treated as an individual, not just a number or name in the crowd. So it has been a great decision, and I wouldn't change it for anything. Well, when you're a number among like 500 people, you tend to step back and not, what's the word? Not ask questions, not give input, not be as um, in the conversation as you are when you're with a smaller crowd. And I think people's talent shine more through a smaller crowd of people. You don't feel overwhelmed by the competition around you and everyone else. So I think a smaller group of people just is better uh, for a school and hands-on environment. Any pork, because it's delicious. <laughs> so the benefits are you get a chance to eat it as you go? Yes, okay. yes. Anything, pork, bacon, pork belly, anything. Just anything pork is great. Is that your pet? Is that your, that's it's, definitely your forte? Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's everybody's. Nobody will admit it though. Even though it's bad for you, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> My ideal work environment is a place where teamwork is the number one priority, where there is communication, leadership, a management team that takes their job seriously, and just an overall positive work environment. They're out there, they're hard to find, but I think as long as you look for a place that meets your requirements and you don't give in, then destined to find it. My big, biggest culinary success so far would be being selected to go to New York to represent AI Cincinnati, uh, go to visit the Food Network, ate some great places like Mario Batali's, got to meet Bobby Flay, and Chef Livingston asked me to go, so it was the best thing I remember about school and started something new for me. The Art Institute has helped me grow into a future chef, a future culinarian by giving me all around curriculum, all around experiences that I can take with me into the future and I think they prepare you not only for your first job but for your career. As far as creativity, I think you can come up with a lot of ideas. It's hard to execute them all the time but when I'm thinking about food and trying to think about plating, honestly it, there's a million things in my mind and it just comes down to timing and time management and the size of the plate. Every, I mean there's so many variables in, in it. So I graduated high school, went to traditional college UC for nursing and stayed for two years and it just wasn't I was bored, I didn't like it. I'm more of a hands-on type of person. I always enjoyed cooking with my father when I, we would be at home together and I never looked at being in this culinary world as being a career. But um, after being convinced by my sister to go see, a, and, see and visit some schools, um, I came back as a non-traditional student, you know, 24, not as young as everybody else, but I just, I mean, I love to cook, honestly. I mean, and then it was just, you know, you decide, you ask yourself, what do I want to do for the rest of my life? And it's such a scary question, and it's just one thing I like to do, so I figured I would like to teach someday, not necessarily right now. I'm just keep learning. I think that's a big thing is not feel like just because you graduated with an associate's degree in culinary arts that you're a chef and that you're going to be somebody that you have to keep learning and keep growing and just keep going. I would come back to the Art Institute for my bachelor's because everything that goes on at this school you don't feel like you're just a number. You don't feel like you're just somebody out there. You feel like there is a purpose, you're there, there's somebody that wants to guide you through it, wants to guide you. There's some place where you go to school and people just, they do it because it's their job. 
not because they genuinely care and want to teach you, but I think that's what's made Art Institute a little bit different than other schools. I would say that in five years I see myself teaching, um, having a family, um, furthering my career, going back for my bachelor's. Just, like I said before, just keep on learning and seeing what happens next.